Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I just wanted to uh, notify you of an update to the ParkMov reaction table calculator, uh, which includes uh, various enhancements uh, that uh, have been proposed over the last couple of years. Uh, uh, that uh, Philip Power uh, uh, updated uh, yesterday, May the 31st, 2019. And uh, this is version four. And uh, the initial one had uh, just uh, tables with uh, uh, basic, uh, uh, favorable, energetically favorable, valid reactions. Uh, the second one uh, uh, had um, uh, boson states, uh, fermion boson states included. Uh, and that was before Sochi. And then following Sochi, Parkamov sent me uh, new calculations uh, including electron processes that's uh, inverse beta reactions and so that was included and now uh, we've included uh, a new area called show element data and if you click on this uh, it comes up with uh, uh, basically a drop down where you can choose an element so for instance if we were interested in hydrogen uh, we would click on hydrogen but uh, if we were interested in say I don't know isotopes of carbon uh, we go there and it gives you all of the parameters which you can use based on your theory of Lena uh, to see what the outcomes are. Um, and uh, you, for instance, here have uh, carbon-14 and it shows you the uh, half-life and uh, so forth of the isotope and the decay modes and so forth. And now, if you there's a description that uh, uh, Philip Power has done on his website, and uh, you can delve into that. It shows you the uh, percentage uh, you have in in nature and uh, the decay energy of the uh, particular decay mode. So, for instance, if you went to uh, let's say potassium uh, K, uh, let's find it here. Da, 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 da. Potassium here. So this is potassium, and uh, what you've got here is the natural isotopes up here. So you've got 39, 40, 41, and over here you've got their proportions, uh, 93.1, uh, 0 0.01, uh, and 6.88%. Uh, you've got decay mode of uh, potassium 40 there, and uh, the uh, decay energy, I think that's a... Uh, uh, possibly the maximum decay energy of the available decays. But uh, from a, a site called Radar, and the link's up here on the top right, uh, there is all of the other isotopes uh, that have been synthesized, uh, radionuclides giving their half-lives and decay modes and so forth. Now, what I've asked Alexander uh, to do today, uh, because I'd already asked him to add some extra things into his calculations, I've, I've asked him to take a subset uh, of uh, uh, radionuclides uh, and place them into his uh, calculation process and hopefully before ICCF we will be able to implement that uh, should he be able to find time to do that and uh, I hope to get an opportunity uh, to present uh, uh, both the reasoning behind various uh, decisions to um, uh, add to this calculator uh, but also um, uh, uh, to uh, uh, give an opportunity to show how it works and how uh, it can seems to be able to uh, fairly accurately predict uh, historical outcomes of uh, uh, Lena uh, ash from Lena fuel uh, in uh, experiments uh, that have been conducted in the past and more current ones. Uh, and uh, we can see how it compares uh, on the most basic level, but. Uh, um, I hope to work with Philip Power to uh, show how you can use some of the more advanced features, the cascading, and, and also uh, use queries to uh, use some of these properties. Uh, so basically, if you, you think uh, you need a certain affinity for something to work, uh, or electron affinity, or you, you need a certain uh, melting point or certain max ionization number um, uh, to be in the element, or for it to be not in a, a boil, boiled state, uh, you really want it either solid or molten, not in a boiled state. Uh, uh, if your theory uh, relies uh, on, on that being uh, important, then uh, that will able, enable you to hone uh, the uh, potential uh, outcomes uh, from your reaction, i.e. choosing things that are more likely 
um, uh, based on uh, your understanding of, of uh, what you think the phys underlying physical process is. Anyway, thank you for your time. Do check it out. I think it's useful for those that want to understand uh, properties about data. Uh, all of the sources are given uh, and so forth. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.